All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put a cartoon bubble on a photo on your iPhone. Let's go ahead and we'll go to photos. Let's open it up. Let's pick a photo. I'm gonna pick this one here. Bam, there it is. It's me on a horse, okay? So the first thing you gotta do is go to the top left corner. You're gonna see edit. You need to click on edit. And then it's gonna give you this page here, all right? And if you look right under revert, you're going to see that there is a little pin and a bubble. It's in the center. You've got to click that. It's going to take you to the markup page. That's where you need to go. So we're going to click that. Now we're on markup. You follow me? Once you get to markup, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And you're going to see a little plus sign in the right-hand corner. We're going to click that. Bam. And it's going to give me this pop-up. And now I can choose from one of these five things. We want to go to the bottom. We want to hit add shape. So we're going to hit add shape. Bam. And now it gives us another pop-up with a bunch of shapes. And we're going to add that cartoon bubble right there. So we're just going to click on that. And it gives us this cartoon bubble, right? Now we got to move that thing somewhere. The way you do that is you got to put your finger right in the middle like this. And then you can, whoops, put your finger right in the middle. And then you can move it. I'm going to slide it over here. I don't really have a lot of room on this corner. So let's put it right here, okay? So bam, now we got our cartoon bubble kind of where we want it. And if you notice, there's blue dots and there's green dots. The blue dots, you can make it bigger or smaller by moving it like that. You see that? The green dots allow me to change the direction of this so we know who's speaking. So now I've got it pointed at me. You follow me? Now, we could make it bigger if we wanted to, depending on how many words we're going to put in there. But I think we need to shrink it down a little bit. How's that? All right, so now we're looking pretty good. Now we can actually edit the bubble by coming back down here. And you're going to see that you've got an exterior right here. Number, you got a number right here. This is for uh, the outline on the bubble. But we don't really have an outline, do we? So let's go ahead and put an outline on there. I'm going to pick a color by clicking that. And I think I'm going to do, let's do a dark blue because it's kind of, you know, because it's kind of blue up there. So look, it turned dark blue. Let me show you again, watch. If I change it, I can change it. I'll do it like this. See how it just changes colors depending on whatever I touch. But I'm going to go with the dark blue, all right, because I think that's going to work. Then I'll get out of there by clicking here. All right, so now we've got a dark blue on there. Now we can change the interior of the color. Let's, let's change that. To do that, we're going to go to this circle here that's like a, a filled one. You could pick any of these, or you could just go anywhere on here. Well, let's make it white. Let's click it white. All right, so we got up there, we got the white, right? Let me show you. If I do this, it changes all different colors, right? But I'm going to go ahead and pick white. So now we've got a white cartoon bubble. If we're cool with that, let's go like that. All right, now we got our cartoon bubble. And, you know, we got, we got it facing our subject, which is me. And now what we got to do is we want to put some, you know, some language in there. And I'm just going to double click on the inside here. And it gives me my um, keyboard. And then I'm just going to write, I don't know, hi. And then maybe we'll put an exclamation point there. How's that? All right. So now we've got our, our words in there. If I don't like them, I can just go like that. And then we could start over again. Let's write something different in there. Let's write yes. Okay, you see how that works? And if you're good with that, you just click on anywhere on the photo. And now you've got your cartoon bubble uh, uh, created on your um, photo. And if you like that, all you got to do is hit done, and it'll save it that way. If you don't like it, um, you could either click back and, and, and undo your edits here, like I just did that, right? It just keeps on going, undoing the edit. Or I could just hit cancel and bam, it's right back to the original photo. And that's how you do it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I show you stuff like this. Peace out.